So with all this newfound attention that Mastodon is getting, the creator is stating that he has no plans of selling out. So let's talk about it. What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and today I have another tech article that I wanna cover on the channel. And this one is dealing with Mastodon again. You guys know I've been covering a couple of the things that have been happening in the news when it came to Mastodon. They recently started getting a whole bunch of traffic because of all the issues that's been going on on the Twitter platform. So people have been looking for an alternative. If you haven't heard of Mastodon, I did a video on it a while back. So just go down and check out that video. I'll probably link it up above. But today's article was super interesting and I thought I would cover it with you guys, share it with you guys. Uh, and it's mainly about the owner and some of the statements that he made recently uh, that he has no plans of selling out the company and becoming like some big tech giant like all these others that have came out. He's planning on keeping it, the platform, the exact same, you know, as when he created the platform. He's basically sticking to his guns. So let's hop over to the article and check out exactly what he said. All right, cool. So this article is on Android Police. I had a link down in the description of the video for this as well. But it says Mastodon has no plans on selling out Warner States. Uh, it says his annual salary is one month's worth of Patreon donations. So that's crazy right there. You know what I'm saying? He's he said his salary, you know, it's a nonprofit organization, but he said his salary at like one month's worth of the patreon donations and you'll get a better understanding when you see how much he's getting you know from the patreon uh donations that he actually get for the platform so this article was released a couple days ago i saw it i bookmarked it uh, and i wanted to cover it but it says uh for the growth it's taken in through the meltdown events that have plagued twitter under elon musk time as owner um, Federated microblogger platform Mastodon hasn't changed too, too much. And it doesn't seem like change is in the core for its founder, uh, sole owner, and only employee, Eugene Rocco, has anything to say about it. Over the past couple of weeks, he had a lot of stuff to say, though, uh, in the order on an interview with TechCrunch and the financial times via uh, Oris Technica, Rocco revealed that he also has five contractors helping him out up from zero when he started Mastodon in 2016. And that's the thing, he's been running this platform by himself, you know, all that time, you know, but he has to get some more developers now, to be honest, or some more, some people to help because the platform is growing so fast. But he says he is also now paying himself 2,400 a month uh up from 1900 last year and he basically lives off of not lives but he basically pays himself off of the donations from the platform which you know is super cool that's you know what you're supposed to do you know what i'm saying if you have a corporation or a non-profit organization now it says uh in Mastodon's first annual reporting report post incorporation the nonprofit reported income of 55,000 euros uh, in 2021 and 600 contributors through Patreon and 20 from custom donations portal powered by Stripe. Uh, it says a check of the Patreon page today shows Mastodon's donor base has grown to 9,396 Patreons who is giving a total of more than 33 thousand a month yeah and like i said that kind of to what i was saying earlier how he's only paying himself 2400 a month uh that's essentially you know one month's salary of the patreon for a year that's super cool you know what i'm saying i'm assuming he you know has other things and i'm not trying to get into his life but that's just something that they covered in the article and i want to kind of point point it out to you guys but Rocco says he's intent on having Mastodon remaining as a nonprofit, investing in staff with the money he has been giving, and to not sell out to groups, noting that the FT that he's gotten six digit 
uh, investment offers from firms in the U.S. Now, between October and November, Mastodon daily active, active users count exploded by eightfold to 2.5 million. So that's super dope. You know what I'm saying? That he's getting a whole lot of traffic. That's dope. Uh, with plenty of these new people making posts across 8,600 servers. Uh, Rocco says human driven moderation will give him give his platform the edge over others including twitter uh it says these simple cases are so simple that even if it's a person doing it it just takes a couple of seconds to do it uh rocco told tech crunch and then when it's complicated then no automation can help it requires a human to read the con read into the context of the situation and to make the call for all it's worth mastodon federated nature uh, creates its own problems as well, uh, specifically with servers attempting to appeal to audience, audience subsets based on location, values, and other factors. Uh, moderation will be up to each individual server to execute. Social fragmentation isn't a problem unique to Mastodon, but even with Federation at its core, it seems Rocco won't be giving up the keys as to how the underlying platform itself behaves anytime soon. So yeah, that's definitely what you want to do, man. You want to, <laughs> you know, hold that to, to dear to you or close to your chest. Let me say that, you know what I'm saying? Um, how the actual platform want, runs, you know what I'm saying? You own it, you know what I'm saying? But hey, one other thing I want to show you guys, uh, just a Patreon. Uh, this was based on that article that they said. So it it's actually went up. So it's 9450 So yeah, that's how much they get in a month. You know what I'm saying? That's super dope. Uh, that they're getting a lot of people supporting the platform. You know what I'm saying? And that's good to see for any open source project or project that's, you know, free and private, respecting and all that good stuff. Um, it's definitely good to see people supporting it. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I just wanted to quickly cover this uh, so you guys can kind of see what's going on. Uh, a lot of people were interested in Mastodon now. And so I just want to put the information out there as much as I can uh, because I really support these free and open source platforms, uh, especially a social media platform that's not all about money and selling your data off to corporations for advertisement and all that stuff so and that's what this platform is centered around you know protecting your privacy and not gathering a whole bunch of information on you and selling it to the highest bidder but i hope you guys have a wonderful day and of course keep it techie